Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting. Uh, I'm coming today to share with you an inspiration I got from uh, 49 dragonflies from Barbara. She does, Barbara's, Barbara has a very nice smoothing voice, very calming voice and her art is awesome. And I opened you know, her channel and I saw their video with uh, shopping bags, uh, shopping bag journal. It's so long time when I created some uh, uh, some journal from shopping bags. So today I'm gonna create a journal from shopping bags. And uh, actually, when I watch her video, Barbara's video, go to have a look. Really, Forty Nine Dragonflies, beautiful channel, amazing channel, so artistic. You will love her. She is awesome. Uh, when I watched uh, Barbara's video, after that, YouTube showed me that Margaret Miller is another my my amazing, amazing uh, favorite from YouTube. She does make awesome collages. So Margaret Miller did a few weeks ago uh, back journal as well. So go to have a look. Really, guys, there is so many, so many bags from uh, paper bags or journals from paper bags. <laughs> Journals from paper bags, what I'm kidding, uh, lately on YouTube. So, inspired by that, and because I do have quite lots of uh, paper bags around me, I'm gonna create mine. And the size of my journal will be measured by these, these uh, little movable parts I have created yesterday with my Patreons. Uh, it's part of Heirloom, a family Heirloom journal. So this is the one I did show in uh, Instagram on Instagram in a little shortcut or short or is it real <laughs> real video? So uh, the size of my journal will it comes from this one. This will be my measurement. I can tell you. Can I? I can. I can. I need a bigger ruler. So it's nine inches or twenty three and a half centimeters it's the leg or how, how high my journal will be so i do have here nice big uh, shopping bag the shopping bag it's really big i can measure even also this one it's 22 inches or 56 centimeters by 22 by 56 <laughs> 22 inches or 56 centimeters so it's square and i already opened the bottom and took off that cardstock or carton which was inside i'm gonna place my a little decorative pop-up element here and i'm gonna fold my back around it think this way I'm gonna make sure that it's folded nicely and burnish I'm gonna take this actually I don't have to take it here here I'm gonna fold this with the same size like it's my first fold and burnish so now this little fold I'm gonna fold inside kind of so it will be hidden like this it's hidden now inside I do have this little fold here then I do have this folded that way and it's 
in the size kind of in the size of my page of my pop-up thingy first what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna seal this here uh, one side inside i'm, I'm gonna try uh, to slide in on that fold so <laughs> Uh, is it visible? <laughs> I do have on this little fold. I do have double-sided tape. I'm gonna take it off. Place this down as it was folded. Press, and I'm gonna show you what I just did. So I did glue my little fold into this front side together with this front side. Now I'm gonna put the glue here. And I'm gonna glue this together. So this little fold which I made here, it's now glued to one side and it will don't make, you know, a flap in there. Now I'm gonna put the glue here inside on all that space. And I'm gonna fold it all together. It's that size which I folded, you know, to match my pop-up thingy. And burnish with all this folding, I do have a sleeve. Sorry for shaking. I do have sleeve here and I do have sleeve here. So I do have kind of like one and two, two sleeves with the part, reinforced part uh, in between. Now I would like to uh, create some closure and some holding of my pages, of course. I'm going to fold it on half. And... I'm gonna create a elastic binding as a holding for writing pages, something like Midori style of journals. So I do have it folded on half. I'm gonna take my uh, crocodile and here in this corner, I'm gonna punch the hole. Like this, fold this on the opposite side, match it kind of ish, those corners, and I'm gonna make a mark. Now I'm gonna make a hole here on this side. And now when I do open my bag, I do have two and two holes. I'm gonna fold that back around those holes. For that I'm gonna take a ruler as my help and I'm gonna place that ruler in the spot in the kind of like similar distance on both sides and fold. And now I'm going to match these edges and fold it properly, take bone folder and burnish. Like this. I'm going to do the same on that opposite side. I'm going to kind of try to match uh, the gap here with the gap here ish i think something like this and again i'm gonna fold my back match the sides here 
inside there. And Bernesh, have a look. Yeah, I think I'm on the similar, similar gap. So with that, I just created kind of spine, future spine for my journal. I'm going to grab uh, the side and fold it to that fold here. And also, I should check it here, right? If I can fit in there. Yeah, I can fit in there. Good. <laughs> yeah, that was so close. Okay. Now, I'm going to do the same with the opposite side. Fold this to that fold here, close, not, not totally. I'm keeping there about one quarter of inch gap. So it will be something like this. Now, before I will do anything else, I'm going to grab the inside a sleeve kind of folded it folded it uh, on half match these uh, glued pieces top and bottom or match here holes hold it hold it So here I can see those holes. I'm going to grab my scissors and this is what will be inside. So I'm going to cut here this shape. And I'm going to do the same on the opposite side. Like this. Now if I will unfold it and place it back where it was. I do have beautiful entry into my pocket. Oh, come on. I'm going to show you. I do have nice, beautiful entry into that pocket here. And here as well. On this opposite side, I will do something later. Now I'm going to grab my sewing machine. And with my, with my sewing machine, I'm going to sew this edge and this edge. We do have sewn that bottom and top uh, side. I'm going to do sewing uh, around the spine, all around the spine. But to make sure that I will see where the spine is, actually, I'm going to use Distress Ink and distress all the edges on this i will cover it with decorative papers anyway but i would like to see properly where are, uh, those folds i have created are so with the distress ink i'm gonna make it a little bit more visible i do have here empty uh, distress ink from ranger this uh, distress pad or ink pad it's perfect for large uh, areas distress ink And I'm kind of taking a brown color from this other one. And now it will be much more visible where I should sew. So I'm going to do sewing around the spine and probably, uh, probably on these two panels next to the spine as well. Kind of like all around the edges. And I do have my base done. It's all sewn around. I do have that spine sewn all around. Uh, I do have that front of my book and the back of my book. And I will have to cover this. Uh, I'm going to add here and here those eyelets. Uh, I have added those eyelets. So I'm going to show you from the other side how it looks like. Beautiful with sewing all around. And uh, if I will keep it this way, like I will don't put any decorative paper on the top i can always cover this on 
and put here ink so it will be amazing right <laughs> so i can play with that i do have this here and before i will continue i'm gonna create also pockets here at the front we do have beautiful entry to this pocket and to this pocket that decorative uh, decorative entry and here and here i'm gonna do a little bit different pockets i do have that sewing here so i can hold it that way oh i do have here that double double-sided edge so this will be top of my book yeah that if you know that small that small fold i did right from the start it's here on the bottom so this will be top of my book this will be uh, on the back side so i'm gonna use some decorative papers and i will cover it all uh, here i'm gonna cut the paper right next to sewing and also i forgot to show you the front cover is sewn all around and i also did sewn one line here kind of like on the opposite side on the uh, on this side uh next to that fold so i do have sewing here and i do have sewing here as well which makes this folding much much better easier now i did cut this top one i'm gonna fold it here and i can either glue it right here or glue it inside to reinforce you know that entry to that pocket i think i'm gonna glue it inside and I'm gonna also add glue here because the paper it's kind of like flimsy on this spot so I'm gonna put the glue there and put the glue here and fold it in same I'm gonna do on that opposite side same i'm gonna do here so i do have pocket here pocket here pocket here and pocket here and i do have nice and strong front cover and back cover i can take some elastic band and place it through to these holes i do have here this i think it's one millimeter maybe two millimeters of uh, the elastic cord and i'm gonna go from the inside oops come on from the inside outside up outside and inside and down so i do have that, that elastic band now i can slide some uh some notepads here behind and i can start to decorate it i think i'm gonna do the front and back cover for that uh, i'm gonna choose papers from my latest collections uh, lost in alphabet and lost in numbers i do have two different collections one it's with uh, alphabet and another it's uh, obviously with numbers <laughs> i'm gonna do one okay these two i will actually put this to the front so i'm gonna make a mark how big i need this paper and i'm gonna uh, place that paper inside to my sewing so the sewing will be visible so here the sewing is actually navigator how far i should go with cutting 
this one. And oh, maybe I will take numbers as well here. Or back cover here and here. I do have pieces cut it. I'm gonna be using a seal brown ink for distressing the edges. It is from Spectrum Noir, and I'm gonna distress the edges, add them a little bit more vintage feel. I have added sewing around uh, these two pieces as well, all around of the edges. And now I am ready to glue it in. I think I tied this too much. Okay, probably I will change it. I will see. I will see how it will hold the papers. Hopefully the papers will hold it straight. <laughs> so now this will be front. This will be back. I can glue it down. I do have that base and I think for the next uh, decorating I'm gonna sit down my leg is kind of like tired so I need to sit down and my voice will be quiet uh, I'm gonna put some nice music in the background and I'm gonna start to decorate it a little bit more and do some little bit more decorations and in the end I will show you what I uh, created with this
And this is uh, what I have created from paperback. It's very simple journal cover. I can add inside some notepads. I need to let these dry, these stenciling signs. Just one picture here. I added just two pictures here. This should be decorated. I'm going to work on this one. And here is that pocket with the moving thingy. And pocket here. And another pocket behind. So already this journal has so many pockets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Already six pockets. <laughs> yeah i like pockets so this is my sharing for today this is my take on paper bags and uh, creating something for junk journals this is nice junk journal uh, journal cover <laughs> got lost thank you so much for joining me today and thank you so so much to all of you who are sharing my youtube channel and uh, who are tagging me when you are creating something inspired by me it's always awesome to see that so thanks so much if you think that some someone will like this video please share that with your friends it will help to my channel to grow and to have uh, you know good uh, good craft family around so thank you so so much for that uh, i will put links down below for the for the digital collection i used it's on my etsy <laughs> and i also yeah i do have new uh, new stamps this one is tyler made journals Tyler ty passport it's called passport and some pool signatures from the past these perfect stamps so it's kind of growing my my collection of stamps for junk journals is growing nicely and yeah that's what i used here to, together with tim holtz stamps and tim holtz stencils obviously of course <laughs> yeah. so that's all my sharing for today thank you so much have a wonderful day take care of yourself and i will come back soon bye